tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Computer animation. Computer Started with animation. Hello friends everywhere in the world, especially in India where obviously most of my viewers come from. I greet you and wish you a very good day. We talk about the hull today. This is a polygon object from this section here and this is a NURPS object from that section here, the blue one. When we right mouse click we see the hull and when we right mouse click here we don't see a hull so a hull is a typical NURPS thing this is a beautiful page by the automobile software developers alias is their uh, software name it's uh, the key tool to create cars to model cars in 3d and in this wonderful page here theory builder uh, you learn what a hull is and uh, let's go a little bit further down, NURBS ter uh, terminology, the CV and hull here in the alias interface and uh, here you have a very nice depiction. This is the curve, a NURBS curve and uh, this is the curve in an, in an S shape and here you have a different curve and this is the hull. Whereas the points around that curve or surface are called CVs. Now we have also spans. What is span? Well, it span is about how many points you have. But we deal with this one today, and this is the hull. That's the hull, the hull. It's not on the surface or on the curve, it is around, it spans the curve or the surface. Now when we display the hull, right mouse click hull, we see exactly what we just seen before. And um, when we click here, we don't see the hull, but we see the edge. And when we select the edge and we click here, we select one part of this geometry directly on it. And when we double click it, it's a bit hard to see, but you see it goes all around It's called an edge loop because it loops all around that surface. Here it's not on the surface, it spans around that surface. It, it is basically the machinery, the cage, which makes our very nice object. And when you click here, you select one hull. This is the hull here. And when you scale it, this is how it works. When you select this one, it goes all around, it's like the edge loop, but only from that top to the bottom here. And when you scale that, this is what you get. Or you can move it out. Or you can additionally click the hull here with a shift key and then do modifications like these. Actually, before we leave this here, I show you the control vertices. They go around that surface. They're not on the surface. Whereas in the polygon world, you do have vertices which are sitting on that surface. So you can actually move this one out. This is impossible with the NURBS curve. With the NURBS curve, you need to select CVs and the you can move the CVs obviously, but uh, you need a lot of geometry to get a sharp edge like this. It's about the smooth flow of surfaces here. Now a typical application is this. A wheel of a car for example. It's a torus, that's a NURBS torus, and I want to rotate it, so I press the key E, and I press and hold J that makes the rotation in segments, so I can easily reach 90 degrees, so it's totally vertical now. Let me give you uh, the material this blue shader here. Now I want the torus to look a little bit more like a tire. When I right mouse click and go to hull, 
I see this prominent hull here spanning around the main axis of the object. When I scale it down now, I almost get something which resembles a tire. And this is one approach which you should keep in mind. Make things as easy as you can. Let me undo this. Under Make NURBS Torus I see that I have eight sections. They are these ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And four spans. One, two, three on the other side. And four down there. They are the spans. So the spans make the hulls which we need in this case. So let us introduce instead of four, eight. Now what we do is we select the hull and now you see we have lots of more hulls here. When you select this one now as before basically the center one and scale it down you have a much sharper edge appearing here. And you can select this one and with the shift key that one so two hulls at the at the side and when you scale them out or in you can create quite a nice topology for a wheel now I scale it out and I go to the inner one that one and scale it out and now you have quite an interesting wheel here if you need a sharper edge right here you would have to start with 10 or maybe 12 spans here but this is a matter of consideration what you need it for in a computer game probably where you see a car from a distance you don't need that detailed tire keep the topology of your surface as simple as possible because a it's easier for you to work on it and b it's much more light to export such a su such a thing into a computer game make it a polygon mesh for example than when you have a very complex geometry so and the hulls are an excellent tool to make quite drastic modifications uh, which are easy to see. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.